So we use it every day, but never really think about what goes into making it. Now, can you tell the difference between these two bars of soap? Of course, besides the design, one bar is made using traditional palm oil, and the other is made using bugs. Now, believe it or not, these bars of bug soap actually help combat climate change and food waste. One group of New Jersey high school students is transforming the way we manufacture ordinary products. A big portion of why we're using bug oil is because bugs are the future, you know. A lot of our projects use bugs because of how sustainable they are and because the processing of it is very small in comparison to what it is now for a lot of mainstream sources of oil. We're utilizing bug oil as a replacement for palm oil, which is an incredibly um, environmentally destructive product in a lot of the world. So, so in many countries, pristine rainforest is felled in order to grow palm trees in order to produce the oil. Not only are we taking food waste, which is a huge contributor to global warming, but we're also making the soap from a substitute, which is palm oil. These researchers fed food waste to black soldier flies which produce their own reusable oil that resembles palm oil, a common ingredient in our detergents, processed foods, and beauty products. The black soda fly can basically decompose any sort of food or organic waste, no matter how badly it's contaminated. So what we did was we came up with a design made out of a lot of repurposed materials. And basically you put food waste in and you put the flies in, the larva will crawl to the top and they'll pupate. So in this form, they could be very easily harvested. The bug oil actually does also have a very clean smell to it. These bugs are able to rid their bodies of any kinds of contaminants. It's actually pretty amazing how they're able to do that. Um, so this, the oil itself is in no way dirty or, or gross. It actually smells kind of like an almond butter. Focusing on sustainability, the students won this year's Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest awarding $110,000 to Princeton High School in New Jersey. As for next steps, the plan is to use that money to advance future STEM projects and spread the word on this underutilized yet valuable resource. So many things go to waste and it's like completely reverbing that whole process and just making it so much more sustainable. Make sure you're making your own soap. And that sounds kind of primitive, but it's actually a super cool process. Having these sustainable oils, just like black soldier fly oil, being used in soaps and just starting to integrate that into something that people at least see so that it becomes more normalized, something that we can actually see in our industries in the future.